Hello guys, today I want to tell you about one small change that has been made in laravel.env.example file by Taylor Otwell just a few days ago, which may cause you to have additional step in installing new Laravel projects. So here you can see the change. The commit message is update env file for sale. So that's for Laravel sale. And this is the change. So instead of default db host 127001, it's now MySQL. And the first one to notice that was my colleague Modestas on Twitter. So he tweeted about the fact that if you don't want to use Laravel sale, you would need to change it back for every project. Of course, it depends on the web server you use, but for my case, Laravel Valet, the default host is 127001. And I didn't realize the importance of this change until I tried to install a new Laravel project. So let's do exactly that. So we install Laravel new project two, for example and we will try to run migrations install is successful so if we cd to project 2 let's take a look at env file by the way i love laravel that it prepares project2.test and project2 database name automatically by the folder name and i do have that database here in my sql pro it's empty i have actually just configured my new macbook with fresh laravel vla and let's try to run migrations close that PHP artisan migrate and we will get an error and when I received that error I realized the importance of this change because that error doesn't say anything about the host about name MySQL or 127001 so for a lot of people this can get confusing and they wouldn't know what to change so to change we go to env and we uncomment the old value and comment or delete the DB host. And now if we run migrations, they will be successful. And I also thought that it may be a temporary change for Laravel sale to work. And by the way, if you don't know what Laravel sale is, it's inside of new Laravel docs. So for installation on Mac OS, Windows and Linux, it's a Docker based thing to install everything you need for Laravel project. It's kind of web server, a little bit similar to PHP Artisan Serve, but much more powerful for those who don't want to install Laravel Valet or Homestead or whatever. So to make that work, Taylor made the change for the NV example, but now people who don't use Laravel sale need to change that host every time on every project. And I thought that it may be a temporary change for first release of the sale, but I realized and I found that there are people who actually submitted pull requests to Laravel to change it back, at least a few people. So if we go to closed pull requests, we have env example update and the file change was just change the back, the old value. And Taylor's response to that was that now env example is configured for Laravel sale out of the box. And if you aren't using for local development Laravel sale, you can change it back. So apparently this change is here to stay. So remember to change your DB host or have some other ways to not use default ENV if you are creating Laravel new project. I hope it was helpful. If you want to receive more Laravel videos on fresh news like this one, subscribe to the channel. And also you can support the channel by doing one of two things. Use our Laravel admin panel generator at quickadminpanel.com or enroll in one of my Laravel courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.